The Wind in the Willows Illustrated by Mauro Evangelista Retold by Leslie Sims And based on the original story by Kenneth Graham Ratty and Mole were out for a row Just messing about on the river With a splish and a splash Otter's head popped up Hello you two, he gurgled Toad is looking for you Toad Hall stood grand and tall, right on the edge of the river. Ratty rode there at once. You're here, Toad cried. Come for a ride in my brand new caravan. They rambled along the country lanes, talking of this and of that. Insects were humming and birds were chirping when... Poop, poop! A sports car shot past in a cloud of smoke, sending everyone flying. Scoundrels! shouted Ratty. Villains! muttered Mole. Poop, poop! said Toad. Forget that boring old caravan. I'm buying a car. From that moment, Toad was hooked. Cars were all he could think about. He drove them, he dreamed about them, and he cheered when he saw a new one. So Ratty and Mole amused themselves. They played hide-and-seek in the wild wood, or stayed with their friend, Badger. How's Toad? asked Badger one night over cookies and cocoa. Still buying new cars? Buying them and crashing them, said Ratty. He's the world's worst driver. We'll have to help him, Badger declared. Tomorrow we'll pay him a visit. Hello, you fellows, said Toad early the next morning. I'm just off for a drive. Oh, no, you're not, said Badger. You're a menace on the road. We're taking your keys and keeping you inside. It's for your own good, Toad, added Mole. They won't stop me, Toad chuckled as he escaped. I'll find a car to drive. Soon he saw the perfect one. As if in a dream, he clambered in and sped away. That night, Toad was in prison. Oh, why did I steal a car? he thought. Oh, clever badger. Oh, sensible mole. Oh, foolish, foolish Toad. Toad was down, but not for long. Late one night, he escaped from prison, cunningly disguised as a washerwoman. When the moon was high in the sky, he curled up by a tree and snuggled into his shawl. He fell asleep, dreaming of home. But back at Toad Hall, calamity. His home had been stolen from him by stealthy stoats and wicked weasels. Don't panic, Toad, said Mole. Badger has a plan. And Badger did. He knew of a secret tunnel that would take them right into Toad Hall. In the dead of night, armed with sticks and swords, they followed Badger down the secret tunnel and burst out into the kitchen. George! hollered Badger. Clang! Crash! Smash! What a squealing and screeching filled the air. Take my house, would you? Take that! shouted Toad. Wham! The stoats and the weasels were banished forever. Toad was so thrilled he held a small party to celebrate and he never drove another car again. The End <laughs>